I heard there was, you know, there's some question about, like, well, why would the magic, like, retire his number? At the end of the day, they made a single finals appearance and lost. Oh, I definitely disagree with them, yeah, putting his number up. You do? Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't at all. Why? You can't tell. I mean, like, the, the magic do not have much of a history. But the history that they have can't be told without him. So, so well, well, the thing is, let's well, let's put up Dwight Howard's number. And there's probably an argument to let's, be said, yeah. Huh? There's probably an argument to be said there. Ain't no argument. If you put up Shaq's, you put up Dwight's. That's that's. I mean, what's what's the difference? <laughs> From one Orlando uh, star to the other, here we have Shaq, who was. Um, like I said, he, his, his number and his jersey was retired in Orlando just, what, yesterday or the day before? He even did the uh, Magic. Yesterday. Huh? Yesterday. Yeah. He even did the Magic telecast, the Magic game on there, on TNT or what have you. Or ESPN. Well, I think, no, I think it was TNT. I'm sorry, TNT. And the debate is growing here. Which Shaq was the most dominant Shaq? Orlando Magic or L.A. Lakers? Lakers Shaq, championship Shaq was the most dominant. Um, he, I know, like, probably you could look at some of the magic, like, highlights, and, like, he was a little leaner, he was maybe a little bit more, like, athletic in a way, and you could say, man, I didn't really, like, you could see some stuff from Orlando Shaq that you don't associate with Shaq, like, some of the grab the ball and literally go the length of the floor and finish a play, that's kind of amazing to watch, but, but when he was in L.A., he reached a point where, I mean, he would just like physically abused people and it, it was it was he was an unstoppable force and i would say that was the the peak of of him but the, but there was some fun moments of him as a magic player and i i heard like i you know you're saying with the who's the better i heard there was you know there's some question about like well why would the magic like retire his number at the end of the day they made a single finals appearance and loss. Oh, I definitely disagree with them. Yeah, putting his number up. You do? Oh yeah. Oh, I don't at all. Why? You can't tell. I mean, like the, the Magic do not have much of a history, but the history that they have can't be told without him. So, so well, well, the thing is, let's well, let's put up Dwight Howard's number. And there's probably an argument to let's, be said. Yeah. Uh huh. There's probably an argument to be said there. Ain't no argument. If you put up Shaq's, you put up Dwight's. That's that's. I mean, what's what's the difference? There, you know what I, I mean. Still, I, I still think Shaq was a greater player and a greater sensation when he arrived in town. I don't believe to, so. To I don't franchise. believe that to be true. You, you could, you could have your own opinion. That's no, no, it's not an opinion. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a fact. Like Dwight, Dwight Howard was in MVP conversations. He was Defensive Player of the Year. He led, he led that team. He was the number one primary force that led that team to the finals. And guess what? He was, the, he was the only star. Like, like. You know, uh, Orlando Magic, they had Penny, they had all of these, uh, uh, you know, cast of guys who were considered much better than Dwight Howard's cast of guys. You know what I mean? Well, and, no, I mean, I, I don't, when you actually break those players on, Penny was exceptional. He was he was phenomenal and, and tragic that he did not stay healthy. But when you break down those other guys, you know, we're talking about Nick Anderson, we're talking about Post Bulls, Horace Grant, we're talking about Dennis Scott, Brian Shaw. Those are those are all good role players. And yeah, I, and I and like and you know you can look and say you know talk about like Turk and you could talk about Rashard Lewis and and uh, the point guard uh, Jameer Nelson. Like to me, those were solid role players. Like that, like Penny was the big differentiating factor. Well, that's a big that's a big that's a big differentiating that. factor. I agree with that. And 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 and, and you know, I think Dwight accomplished more. And his accomplishments were greater with Orlando. Like I said, it's a it's all defensive, all NBA defensive team in the MVP conversation, one defensive player of the year, rebounding titles, all of that stuff. He was dom he he was dominating the league. You know what I mean? And and so even more so than Shaq. So if you give if you give Shaq uh, if you and you do his thing, you have to you have to do Dwight's. And then and then well, let's I mean, not I, stop I, there. To be, to be Why clear. not T Mac? Why not? I mean, because if you're going to just, okay, if a player doesn't win and you're just going to give, you have to give it to all of the top players who didn't win. You well, know yeah, what I mean? Because okay. T-Mac meant a right. lot to the city First at his off, time. Okay, here's the deal. I agree Dwight Howard's number should be up there. I agree that, that Shaq's number should be up there. I think Shaq was the better player and more impactful. Um, I do not have a problem with T-Mac going up there, and I don't have a problem with Penny going up there. 
after that, I'm not sure that I feel strongly about anybody else going up there. Mm. Um, what about Daryl Armstrong? No, no. Why not? He's the heart and hustle guy. He was the he was the the face of the team, the heart and soul guy. Yeah. Because what what the, what they're saying is. Is is it not? It's not about winning. It's about like who 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 was you know. He, Shaq meant so much to the city and and this this and that. I mean, Daryl Armstrong meant as much as to the city as anyone. Not as much as Shaq or Dwight Howard. Why not? He just didn't. I like, I, I, don't, I, I don't know, I man. Mean, Shaq comes in to to basically an expansion team. You're you're talking about from a you're talking about from a winning standpoint. No, I'm just saying instant credibility. Like Shaq was the number one pick in the draft. He was destined to be a star. The, he comes to the Magic and like right away, like the Magic are a story. Well, think and about they this. Were, they were a, like they were a fucking franchise team. They were a friend. They were yeah. nothing. No, 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 no. no, no. I understand. With, like, Terry Catledge. Well, and now like when they get Shaq, they all of a sudden they enter become a relevancy. Story. They're relevant. In a story. They they make a final. They add. Pen- any, like that was an incredible time. It all imploded and Shaq left, which also his departure is the story of this franchise and the story of them just not getting shit right. Well, same thing with Dwight. I agree. Same thing with I agree. But but, it, but, but, but Daryl Armstrong was on a bad was team. Daryl Armstrong was on a he was the face of a it's like it's like okay, Aaron Gordon, right? He was a he was on a bad team, he was the face, he was the, the best player on that team, but they weren't relevant. Daryl Armstrong's team was relevant. The uh, uh, national media would cover the Magic. They 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 got pub. They got everything that they, they they had, and and they were a bad team. But Daryl Armstrong was the face of that hard and, and the hard and hustle, hard and soul team. But what was that like a one or two year window? I thought like a two three, two to three. Okay, but how I long mean, are we talking about with Shaq? It was four or five years, huh? Like was, four or five years. Yeah, we're talking about like a year Shaq, off. But you can't compare what the are we impact about? of Shaq. And Daryl Armstrong. I, I, I mean, hey, I mean, that's yeah. what they're talking about. Uh, who, who, I'm not talking about that. I mean, I, I'm not talking about the is? level of player. I'm talking but about the level of part of the discussion. Of impact to the now, city. again, a franchise can make a decision and a criteria for who they want to honor. Mm-hmm. I mean, but I'm I'm taking the question as if I you know if I'm consulting on this, though I gave you the four names I feel strongly about. I to me, Daryl Armstrong doesn't quite make it. I could see an argument. He was, you know, just the energized hustle guy and, and really resonated with the fan and had kind of the, you know, the backstory of not being this drafted guy or any big pedigree coming in. I get the story, but I just don't. For me, it's just not enough. And then on top of that, he left. I mean, that's the last nugget there. Like, I'm not putting a guy up on a on my thing who, who left us and left Ooh, and left us in such a about terrible Shaq? situation. Yeah. Oh, I just don't think you can tell the story of this franchise without him. Why can't you? Because he was so integral to it. He was to what part? To, to, the, the, to the year that we didn't win. To the year that we didn't win. I had a year like that with Dwight. <laughs> well, I mean, under, I had a similar year like that to, uh, with T Mac. No, I, they never did anything. I know. I said similar. I didn't say the same. It wasn't very I, similar. D- Dwight was. It was not very Dwight. similar. I mean, it was okay. No, it wasn't. <laughs> they <laughs> were an epic. You didn't win. Story. You didn't win. Uh, Pink's word. You didn't win. You didn't win. Okay, yeah. uh, that that that's in your words. So yeah, I mean, so I those guys, none of those guys won. So that's just you, you well, leave them, okay, leave all what, those. Okay, so what argument are you making? Because the if, argument if, I'm making is if you say, put them you all say, in at once, or don't put none of them in at all. Because all, all of them at once. Put them all in at once, so or don't put none of them did, in at all. Did you cap it? No further player can ever make it in. No. What, what this is my my overall point is he didn't win and he left. He left you in despair. He shouldn't be in. That's my point. My second point is, if you're going to put him in because of the reasons that you said, and I, and I do agree with, Shaq did mean a lot to say. I'm not disagreeing with that point. He His impact well, and Shaq how great he was as a player, I'm agreeing with all of that. But when I, my second point to that is, if you're going to put him in because of those reasons, put the rest of those guys in too. You've got to put Dwight in. And, and it has to be immediately. But you have to put him in next year because I am it's my assumption and and the stats and the accolades back what I'm saying up. It's not just a, a fucking thought like uh, 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 the sky is purple on Tuesdays. This is a, I'm talking about the facts back it up that Dwight was a better player with the Orlando Magic than Shaq was. OK, uh, 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 the accolades and stats back it up. OK, so uh, uh, and his overall impact. 
and he was on a lesser team. Okay, all of that stuff. You had all of that stuff up. Dwight has to go in immediately. Next year, this time, Dwight needs to be on the dock. See, I disagree with that. Like, I think it, 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 like the timing of it dictating, it's like every February we're going to induct somebody. Like, I don't know that you put yourself in a weird precedent. I think that the timing could be right and you just do it in course. I do agree Dwight should be in. I agree on Penny and I agree on, on T-Mac. Um, I guess our only real point of disagreement is, is Daryl Armstrong. But, you know, I, I don't think you need to put everybody in immediately. I do think that part of doing this is you create a special night for that person. And you don't necessarily make it an annual event because then you're going to end up having some internal pressure to put somebody in there every year, even though nobody may be worthy in a given stretch of time. Um, so you just you kind of do it. But I agree. Like, there should be a plan and a moment in mind to put in Dwight and put in these other guys. And uh, you know, give your give your organization some culture. I also think it's good business as an organization to honor your past players, even if things didn't always end in a way that you wanted them to. The, the part of a club is to be a little bit bigger than petty, and to to welcome home guys and have them feel comfortable being a part of the organization, connected to your current organization, and proud of their time there. There's a value in that. And, and it gives your 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 building a culture and a history that I think is important to celebrate. I guess if you want to celebrate a non-winning history, I, I guess yeah, it doesn't bother me. So I mean, what is your true opinion then? So if you're a franchise that's never won a title, no, you don't put nobody in. in. Okay, if that's your opinion, that's your opinion. Yeah. Then why are you dicking around with this Daryl Armstrong argument? I, if you have to put Shaq yeah, we in, don't, you don't know. that's my second point. If you have well, to put Shaq in, you put the rest of them in. Huh? Stand I on do. Bu- stand on business. I, 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 th- that is my overall point. Then just stand on that. Don't, but, don't, don't, stop dicking around there. Yeah, but that, but, but that's, it, it, that, that, that doesn't make sense because he's already in. He's in. So that argument, okay, I'm argument not making an this. argument. Your argument is the Magic made a mistake last night. Yes. Because they, that's, that should be your argument. But since they made he a is in. We you don't forget about mistake, the other guys. Call, I did, and that's and we passed that. I, it's a mistake. It's uh, you fucked it up, and you, nobody should be in there. But since you did make that mistake, right? Let's continue on. Pile on the mistakes is what I'm saying. Yeah, you know, one for one for all. Remember, I, I'm consistent yeah, I'm not, with my. I'm not that guy. Uh, yeah, I'm consistent with mine. It nah. goes for Valentine's days. It goes for it goes it goes for little kids with birthday presents and Christmas presents. Yeah. And it also goes for undeserving players that goes into certain teams' hall of fames. And then and, <laughs> and, and, and if one go for one, go for all. Put them all in. Okay. I don't feel comfortable with Iverson being up there with Dr. J and Moses. I don't feel comfortable with that. Right. Iverson meant more to Philly than what Shaq did to Orlando. I can tell you that got that much, okay? And I don't feel comfortable with that. So I, we get it. Your point is if you don't win a title, which is funny because we find ourselves on opposite of sides of this argument that we normally occupy. Yeah, yeah, of winning. Yeah. <laughs> and winning means everything. If you don't win, you ain't shit. That's normally Pink's point of view. No, it's, and it's we swap places. That's why they play the games. Yeah. All right, 